So, hello and welcome back. My name is Jennifer and I make stuff. And since it's the new year, I feel like it's time for some changes. And I have been thinking about for maybe one or two years to do something about my bathroom. One of the details that I want to give a completely new makeover is this shelf that I have here that is actually a shelf for your washing machine. But the thing is, the washing machine is 60 centimeters wide, which is a standard width to most furnitures, especially the ones that you can find on, for example, Ikea and all that. It's a very standard size. But the thing is, this one, it said it was 60 centimeters Meters. But the thing is, it's exactly 60 centimeters wide from the edge here to the edge here. But that actually means that the width of the rods here are going to narrow down the width in between where the actual washing machine is supposed to be. Meaning that this one should have been a little bit wider so the washing machine would actually fit in place here. Because now I've actually had to loosen some of the screws here to make it look like the shelf is wider. But it definitely made it completely unstable. So I had to do a couple of adjustments, but still I wasn't really happy with the finished result of this shelf. What the plan is here is to remove the shelves that are in the middle here. They are the metal shelves because they are the ones that are too narrow. If they had been wider, then this would have been a perfect size. But still, I'm not really that happy with this silver metal look. It's a little bit too hard i think i want to have something that is more preferably a matte black finish and i hope i have enough matte black spray paint if i don't then i have some glossy spray paint and maybe i have to go over with some kind of matte finish in the future but i do know that i want these to be black because i really like the look of matte black interior or black in general and also combining it with something that looks like natural wood and i actually bought these shelves on Ikea. There are bamboo shelves, but they have this natural wood look to them. And they were exactly 60 centimeters. And that means that when I'm going to replace the metal shelves that I have there with these, it's going to make the entire shelf wide enough so it's not going to be too narrow around the entire washing machine. It's going to be a perfect fit. And finally, I'm going to get the dream shelf for my washing machine that I've been looking forward to for over two years to finally have. So yeah, let's stop talking and start creating some magic here. So as you can probably see here, I have used sort of this kind of bamboo protective matte they are more that kind of weave tiny strands or straws the reason why i had these ones was just because you can see all of the spaces in between all these metal pieces so that's why i wanted to have something here just to make sure that i could have some things on the shelves without falling through them so that's why i wanted a complete piece there is like one shelf here so as you can see this one is definitely too wide in between here now because this one is 60 centimeters it's just going to peek a little bit outside here and in the front and in the back just a tiny bit but i think it's going to look very nice to have it a little bit wider than the actual legs is hopefully going to make the entire shelf more stable and stay in place and hopefully going to be more stable once the washing machine is on and not moving around too much and all of that. Hopefully this is going to decrease those issues that I had before. So yeah, let's empty this shelf and take apart all of these legs.
So I've been doing a test fit now to see what one shelf looks like when it's standing on top of the washing machine. It's such an improvement. Now it's definitely the width it has to be to go straight down to the floor. One thing I noticed when I was drilling the holes was following the lines on these and I thought they were the same width from this hole to the other one even though I was going after me the measurements of the old shelves. I still got just a few millimeters off. I decided that the side that that was sticking out a little bit more was the one that is in the front and the one that is more further in is going to be in the back and I'm going to repeat that on the other shelves also. Now I have a measurement that I can use as a guide and just repeat the same pattern on the other shelves. So I'll get back to you when those shelves are done. As you can see here, I have temporarily just added these screws with these screw nuts here just to make sure that these rods doesn't move around or scramble or anything. This distance here is actually supposed to be one of these rods that is over here. But I used these for another video where I made some sort of curtain rods that is on my balcony because I felt like these weren't that necessary for me to have here. And I didn't really care that much about this shelf before because I didn't like the look of it. So I didn't really care that much that I was taking apart pieces. But the plan that I have for uh, the near future for this shelf is to see if I can find some uh, wooden cylindrical rods that I can just trim down to the size that I need them to be. And I can also choose to maybe use some bigger rods that have a wider diameter to them instead of being these thin looking rods that are here. But also the other thing that I was thinking about was having a rod that goes from here down there because this rod was going to be too short because I have widened the distance now with these shelves that I have here so this rod that was here the metal rod would be too short for me to have here to get the perfect width down here so that's why I removed that one here but I'm planning to replace that one with a wooden rod because I want to enhance more of that nature wooden look to this entire shelf and might also replace those that are made of metal and change those up too. It's going to look a little bit interesting but it's also going to include more of those wooden elements. At the moment it looks a little bit industrial with these screws and nuts here. It looks a little bit cool but still I want to have more of a clean finish. Going to from further away look like a completely fresh and modern look to this entire bathroom shelf but close up you're going to see some of the flaws that it has i'm just gonna see if i can find some good looking rods to use for this that matches the color of these bamboo shelves but that's a issue for later when i'm going to work on those details i might show a little bit of the process on my tiktok account uh, later on yeah so that's all i wanted to mention so now i'm going to add the final detail to this bathroom shelf i also have this weaved basket i think it's also bamboo but it's very you can see that it's a little bit damaged and it's kind of a little bit discoloration maybe from humidity and all that and it's and maybe a little bit of sun damage it's a pretty old basket i'm going to try and see if i can go over with the same black stain that i used for the laundry basket and the mat in my bathroom and see if I can maybe turn this one into more of a black finish with a brown undertone so it matches the theme that I'm going for and then this one is going to fit perfectly on top of one of the bamboo shelves that's going to be on top of the washing machine so I'm going to try and do that and get back to you when I've done that so it definitely has a much nicer finish now with a clean finish or a clean color now and like the other ones the dark brown is peeking through a little bit underneath all of this black but I don't mind that because it's going to include more of that detail now in the bathroom so it's not just the laundry basket and the bathroom mat that has these shades so I'm going to decorate this one now with the same ribbon that was used around this basket then I just add a simple ribbon here isn't the most beautiful ribbon but it's definitely a nice touch i don't really remember i know that it was wrapped around the basket twice but i don't remember if it was 
stacked on top like this, like two rows, or if they were overlapping. But I do know that they finish off in a bow here. Something like that. It's just a nice little touch to this entire basket. And then I have some other decorations that I have been preparing off camera. You're going to see what it's going to look like. I'm going to get back to you when I'm going to decorate the entire shelf. So that's the finished result of this bathroom shelf. I'm so happy with the finished result. I think I wanted to have a bathroom shelf like this since the moment that I actually bought the original shelf. So it was a pretty quick and easy project because I had the tools and the materials that I needed to do this, but it's still not a complicated project. If you have a drill or a screwdriver and having some screws for wood, then this is going to be a pretty easy project. The only difference is the fact that these metal parts here that I spray painted black are from the actual shelf that I had before and that shelf wasn't bought on Ikea. There are some that are designed uh, to have over your toilet so it can go around your toilet and then we have these that are for uh, washing machines and they are sort of similar in the same style and look to them. I think some of them are actually the exact same style and size so it's not going to be that hard to find a shelf that is going to be suited for this but if you already can find a shelf that is supposed to be for a washing machine that already had this style then you don't have to do this step it's just that I wanted to show you the process of me giving my old shelf that I had a new makeover that I've been thinking about for a long time and now finally took the time to actually make it <laughs> there are some details on this shelf that I want to replace or some are going to be changed or added like for example in some of these details over here that I only added the screw and the screw nut I want to use some sort of wooden rod that I can add a lacquer finish to it so it's going to have a waterproof surface so it won't get water damage or anything like that because it's going to be steaming in here since it's in the bathroom and all that it's both aesthetically but also functionally a good option to add to this shelf because I feel it's going to make the shelf even more stable if I have these rods. But I definitely want to also change the metal rod that is on the back side to a wooden rod because right now I don't have that one attached because that one is definitely going to be too short since the shelf is now wider so I'm going to get a wooden rod that is going to be attached to the back side and the reason why I want to have a rod down there is because it's going to help keeping the legs stable and in the right width and the distance from one side to the other so they won't move around over time when the washing machine has been doing some programs over time and all that the shelf is definitely more stable now than it was before because these bamboo shelves is going to help in reducing the shakiness and the instability of the entire shelf so having these shelves is definitely going to help reducing those issues that I had before and then another detail that I'm definitely going to have to change in the near future are the actual screws that I've attached all of these shelves with because I'm afraid that they might actually fall through the hole here but that's an easy fix so I'm just gonna have to get some new screws but the bigger detail that I'm going to change in the near future are these wooden rods that I want to add so that's all about this shelf so I had a little bit of fun when I was decorating these shelves here I was just looking at some pictures for inspiration and then I just played around with stuff that I had and also you can remember the basket that I gave a new colored finish and now it's actually fitting this entire style that I'm going for perfectly so that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one